Hi, I am Marek and I am going to show you how to run Elasticsearch on OpenShift. Let's start with do-it-yourself application named Elastic. Once the application is ready, we connect to it using SSH. Now, let's get to the data directory where we install Elasticsearch. Let's get the Elasticsearch download link now. And download it. Let's unpack the archive, delete the temporary files and rename the directory with Elasticsearch. Once finished, enter the directory. OpenShift provides general configuration options using environment variables. We will use OpenShift internal IP and OpenShift internal port to bound the Elasticsearch to a particular interface. We have to edit the configuration file to let Elasticsearch know about the information. Scroll down to the bottom of the file Because clustering is not yet possible, we disable it altogether. Move a bit up now to configure networking interfaces. There, we set the port from the environment variable to have Elasticsearch accessible from external networks. This port is used to internal communication among the Elasticsearch nodes. Let's use MySQL port, for example. The last thing we have to set up is the IP address we bound to. That's all. Let's save the file and exit the editor. Let's start the Elasticsearch server. The F parameter forces the server to stay in the foreground. Once the server is up, you can connect to it using your browser. And you can see that the server is really running. Let's stop Elasticsearch for a moment and start it without the F parameter in the background. You can check the logs using the tail command. Once the server is running, we can disconnect from Open shift and check that the server is really running. That's all and you have Elasticsearch running in OpenShift.